Hello and welcome to Plainly Extra. Today we'll be looking at the Captain of Copenhagen hoax. You would think the German army wouldn't just let anyone off the street, take control of a company's soldiers and steal 4,000 marks. Well, we wouldn't have a video if this wasn't the case. The Captain of Copenhagen was actually a man named Frederick Wilhelm Voigt, born on the 13th of February 1849 in Tilst, Prussia and was by trade a shoemaker, although his career was interspersed with spells in prison. Leading up to the hoax that would make him so famous, Voigt had been building up a collection of second-hand German army officer uniforms. On the 16th of October 1906, he went dressed up in his acquired officer's kit to a local army barracks and commandeered four grenadiers and a sergeant on their way back to base. So the German army at the time were obsessively drilled to obey any order from an officer. And because of this, none of the five soldiers fought to question the supposed authority of the captain in front of him. Immediately, he dismissed the sergeant and later nicked another six soldiers from a shooting range. The captain took his newly found personal army on a train to Copenhagen, hence the name. Copenhagen is a suburb of eastern Berlin. Whilst he was there, he took control of the local city hall. Posting each of his men at the exits of the building, the captain ordered local police to keep law and order as well as not allow any telegrams from the local post office for one hour. During this time, he arrested the treasurer and mayor. Both men were held on charges of crooked bookkeeping and Voigt confiscated 4,002 marks and 37 pfennigs. The captain signed the receipt in the name of one of his previous prison wardens. Once he had the loot, the captain ordered his men to stand guard for half an hour and Voigt made his way to a local train station. Even though his plan went amusingly smoothly, Voigt found himself arrested on the 26th of October and on the 1st of December he was sentenced to four years in prison. However, the public had been amused by the heist and because of this, Kaiser Wilhelm II pardoned him on the 16th of October 1908. With his newfound fame, Voigt managed to capitalise rather well by making money from making appearances and signing photographs. He ended up going to the UK, Canada and USA to sell his book, How I Became the Captain of Copernic. On the 3rd of January 1922, Frederick Wilhelm Voigt passed away in Luxembourg at the ripe old age of 72. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. This Thursday's video is going to be slightly different to normal. It's actually going to be all of the videos from the last year, because Plainly Difficult has been around for one year now. Do you know of any interesting heists? Let me know in the comments below. I can't thank my patrons enough. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.